And uh, why don't we just for the camera uh, give a quick apology to my mom. Listen. <laughs> Her name's Stacy. Stacy, Brandon's mom, I just want to say sorry. I, I got him into this adventure. He's doing a great job filming. It was just funny how I was worried about mountain lions at first, and then I saw a guy with an AK-47, and you know, so now there's like mountain lions, and you know. So now do you feel safer? Because the mountain lions won't come with guys with AK-47s, you know? I don't feel safer. <laughs> Stacy, he's fine. I promise you, he's fine. Good morning from Frida's place. This is Casa Frida. If you haven't seen the last video from Valle, go check that out. I give a full Airbnb tour. This place was one of the most unique properties I've ever stayed at. With that said, it's time to say goodbye to Frida. We're heading out on the road. It's off to Tecate. From Valle de Guadalupe, we're making the road trip north about one hour to Tecate. Let's go see what we can find. Hopefully have a couple beers. And I think there's camping in our future. Remote camping in Mexico. This is gonna be interesting. But first, some tecate. We're now in Tecate and look, you can see the border wall directly ahead of us. That is the border from the US to Mexico. But on this side of the border, time for breakfast. Time for breakfast. Or a uh, small little breakfast. A little no, first breakfast. First breakfast, yeah. First breakfast. Tu lugar de destino está a la derecha. Gracias. Ya llegamos. El buen pan de Tecate. Welcome to Tecate. We just got here. We were on La Ruta del Vino. So a beautiful drive from Valle de Guadalupe to here in Tecate. This is where we're going to get a little pastries to start our day off here in the city. Let's go check it out. Adelante, mijo. Oh, it smells like absolute heaven. Hola, buen día. This oven is 40 years old and it's five meters long by five meters and they just brought out a fresh set of rolls and this place looks and smells incredible. Oh, okay, gracias. All right. So we just stepped outside. We're in the parking lot of El Buen Pan de Tecate. And we got a couple of different pastries here. I'm gonna dive right in to this one because I'm very excited about it. I used to love Boston cream donuts. So it was like the chocolate on top with that. And this seems like the custard filling <laughs> with the sugar on top. Cheers. Provecho. Holy f This is too warm. I like it. It's still warm. Real fresh donut. Holy the crust, it's light. You can see the crust a little bit. It tastes like childhood. It makes me want to sit down on the couch and just watch cartoons all day. Man. This is fig. And she said it was one of her popular ones, right? Yeah. So this is a fig. But she was really confident. She was like, everything's still out. Yeah, she was, you have to eat everything. <laughs> this is good. A little sweetness from the fig. Again, that blew my socks off, so it's tough to it's tough to start there with my favorite thing ever. And go to this. This is probably for those coffee drinkers out there with a good cup of coffee. <laughs> this is the one you order when you retire. Yeah, when you're retired. But it's tasty. <laughs> but it's tasty. Firing right along. Simple chocolate donut. Mm. Look at I, it feels like I can just let my hand go and it'll just float there. That's how that's how light it seems, right? My friend, the name of the first one is the pillow, but the real pillow is the donut. I agree. That's how uh, soft it can be. I can't I can't sleep in uh, in this one. I would call that more of like a gel pillow <laughs> yeah. because you can yeah, you can squeeze. contour. It. There's a lot more to it. This so fluffy. This is like a cloud. They're right. They have good bread. They are standing for the name. The title lives up to the shop. Let's finish these and keep moving. Tecate, great start. Mm. Whoa, where are we at? Uh, we are at the Faro. Uh, we are going to try a Calito Levanta Muertos. Some people. Some people, not you. Not me, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, not me, <laughs> try it when they are hangover. This is the hangover cure. And a good place to find a hangover cure soup when you're in Tecate. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. We 
at the caldo here. This is the fishball soup. It is said to rise people from the dead. We're here in Tecate where Tecate beer is from and obviously you gotta have a place where you can get some good hangover cures. This is the small tecaba. Yeah, this is the small tecaba. And you also get, is this garlic bread? Or garlic right? bread. And so many, so many fish balls. The recommendation for this uh, caldo, it's don't forget lime, a few drops, a few drops. And the salsa, sure. a little bit, a little bit. Right, I'm gonna start with this with a dip, because it's pretty hot, so I'm gonna try to stall a little bit. I'm gonna try the broth first. It's light. Uh, you can feel a little bit of the flavor of the fish already. It's in the in the broth. Very light fish flavor, and just the first thing that comes out is just the oil. Yeah, the, the oil. The fattiness, that richness of that broth. The oil just sits on there from the the fat and the grease of the fish itself, but in a, the best way possible. Mm. Same time. Oh man, those fish balls are so tender and they're not overpowering at all when maybe i tell you fish balls you might think like okay that doesn't sound right so light almost like a fish crab cake with just yeah. straight fish and balled up and these un this is what's great about it they're all uneven you know they're all rolled by hand delicious oh Garrett, you already killed the, the, the balls, uh, there's nothing in the plate. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready for a beer now. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock somewhere, let's go have a <laughs> Yeah, for sure. We have, have you had this before you're hungover? Does it still work? I don't know, we, we can try. We have to test that out. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. We're gonna go try to find the entrance of the Tecate Brewery right now. Look at this thing. It fills up the entire block and it's right downtown of Tecate. Literally, Tecate is Tecate. <laughs> Let's go find the entrance, see if they'll let us in. This is massive. Here starts the story. Hello, let us in. We want some beer. Heineken, huh? Yeah, Heineken now owns the whole place. Huh. Worldwide. We just gotta get, we just gotta get orange vests. Can you tell them we're quality control? Hello. Hello. We are now in front of the palace that is Tecate Brewing. Unfortunately, they're closed for obvious reasons. But this is it behind us. We tried to tell them that we were quality control, but it didn't work. Just the boys and a bit of depression. The beer garden is closed. We have now walked over from the Tecate Brewery, which is directly behind us. You can see it from here, and we are in the central plaza of Tecate. And this place is lovely. El Parque Miguel Hidalgo. Miguel Hidalgo. And everybody, we asked, what's the name of this park? And everybody's like, it's the park. Uh, the park. Like, uh, <laughs> everybody knows, you are in Tecate, you, are, you go to the park. Which park? The park. The park. Oh. There's a fountain over here, a Tecate sign, a couple people singing. We got a guy with a guitar. There's a, a few tables of older gentlemen playing cards. Yeah, a good amount of shade for this very hot day, hence put on my hat. And we're just waiting for a bar to open to get a taste of the sweet elixir that has made this place famous. And that is right across the way. Tecate, Mexico. Only about an hour's drive from downtown San Diego, it's home to just over 100,000 people. And while the majority of the land in the area is used for ranching and farming, obviously its most famous export is the Tecate beer. It's just full of tecate. <laughs> That's the best. Can you tell us the story of this place? Uh, this place was opened by my grandfather in 1957. 1957. July, what do you call the one horse town? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when my grandfather opened the place, it used to be horses. So yeah, <laughs> he had like a stable on the on the back and the front. Yeah. So you could just 
tie up your horse and just Ticate and Ticate. Salud. Salud. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's a lager, Mexican lager. It's a it's a hot day here in Tecate and nothing cools you off like a Tecate. Not sponsored. Oh, We're yeah. in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. That's smooth. Look, you got the original jukebox there. This is the uh, VIP area right here. Oh man, this is the hangout spot. It's actually, they gave us a paper. The Patrimonio Historico y Cultural de Tecate. Uh -huh. It means it's a, it's a historic place. Yeah, now. yeah. It's considered a historic place after uh -huh. 60 years. Wow. So at the 60th anniversary, uh -huh. they gave us a, a card and now we can put a historic. No way. Historic part of Tecate. So here's Diana's, right here. Here's the Tecate at the bar. And if you look across the street, there is the brewery. How great is that? And also, Diana's merch. This is it. It's all I'm wearing from now on. You think I can get a Cuts and Diana's uh, collaboration? Cuts, Diana's. We gotta, we gotta talk. We're gonna do a collaboration effort. Travel deeper, Cuts, Diana's. Look at this. Look how good he looks. Man. Look, when did you say you started bartending? Oh, my dad put me to work 13 years with my first clamato ever made with, <laughs> with clams and everything. My margarita was 14. Uh, uh, oh, okay. You, you, you wait a whole year yeah, to, yeah, to, wait to be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to do a, a good margarita to get people a margarita. Yeah, <laughs> my dad was keen on margaritas. So, oh, no, okay. you, you need a year to practice. First lines, everything solid. You had to mature. You had to wait till yes, 14. Best, best, best. Acá tenemos la especialidad de la casa. Clamato con almeja de Dayanas. Tal vez primero fuimos al faro para curarnos la cruda. Uh, may, may, but this one also works when wonderful. You again, yeah, uh, yeah. If you start again, uh, after you feel a little hungover, come back to Dayanas, grab a beer to connect it, and then the clamato with almejas. Let's try it. Mm. It was wonderful. That was, that was pretty much 14. That yeah, was 14. Yeah. No way I could do that at 13. Put it in the hand, carnal. Alright. Leo, you got it. No worries. Dos pesos. Thank you, my friend. Me da un gato con todo. Ah, si, un gato. Un gato, un gato. Un gato. Oh, un gato. Alright, and after. <laughs> Our Tecate experience at Diana's. We are over at El Lugar de Nos. This is the most recommended place in Tecate by everybody on Instagram. Thank you guys so much again. And everybody here was like, you gotta go to El Lugar de Nos. It's a huge restaurant, very quirky, but the kitchen is open. You can see this, beautiful dishes passing by. Really interesting, eclectic place. You got Frida and you got bicycles on the wall. All different artwork. And we're just gonna dive into a few dishes. <laughs> All right, we got just big slabs of guetano right here. This is bone marrow for those of you who follow the Tijuana taco series. You already know bone marrow with birria is unbelievable. Guetano, I've learned the word. This they got a hard boiled egg, looks like an avocado salad of some sort with some mushrooms and a little bit of sauce on the side here. It's the greatest thing on earth. Suetano absolutely melts in your mouth. I can't even call it fat, I have to call it liquid gold. Liquid gold. A little hot wheel, man. <laughs> and then we got two types of tacos. I got a artichoke and beef taco here, and we got a chicharron pensado taco here with cheese in it. So first, I'm gonna try the beef, I'm gonna be healthy for a minute. Oh man, very light, refreshing, a good cream in there. I think beets are one of the most underrated things. They're mm. so flavorful, delicious, sweet, and the crunch of the tacos. What do you got? Uh, I got the chicharron prensado. You already see how it uh, comes to the table. So I open my taco and I put a little bit of the cilantro, the toppings in the inside. That uh, used to be healthy. Oh man. The chicharron already has a little bit of beans, a little bit of uh, cheese and uh -huh. for sure the whole chicharron prensado thing. 
green? And a little bit of guacamole in the outside. I'm gonna get the oil too. Total experience. Yeah, I like the balance. A little healthy with vegetables, and a little luxurious with the chicharron, and then ever aggressive with the tuetano. This is as eclectic of a mix as this restaurant, huh? Yeah. Woo wee. That place lived up to the hype. Now, for something completely different. We're getting in the car, we're driving up into the great unknown of the Tecate countryside, and that is, well, you'll see. And now, this is where things get interesting. Before leaving Tecate, we stop by a local grocery store and pick up everything we need for a true Mexican cookout. And then we load up and drive about an hour east to look for a man in a red truck named Vale in the village of La Rumorosa, who's supposedly taking us to our camp for the night. We are now just waiting for our connection here to take us up into the mountains. We are way out here. We're in the town of Rumarosa, hanging out in a little storefront in the middle of nowhere, waiting for our connection. That's our guy. <laughs> we got our guy. My faith and trust in the border tourist team is about all we have at this point. We stop by Vale's house to pick up more supplies. Man, the guy, the, the Vale already tells us uh, there is some wild mountain lion there. I know, I know. Yeah, my mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> and then we take the long dirt and sand roads much deeper into the outskirts of town. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Amigos de la tierra. Amigos de todo. Estamos. Estamos bien. Está bien, está bien. Entonces salimos. Entonces salimos. All right. We have made it. That was a wild drive. Um, Passed by some guys going pretty quickly. S somebody noticed um, a rather large firearm in the back seat. Brandon, yep. can you vouch for that? <laughs> yes. but, they, but Vale just told us those are just the guards of the area, so we're all good. Now I feel safe. But this is a actually a beautiful little campus. Let me spin you around here. It's a work in progress. This is with Border Tours. So they have this set up going for more local tourism that want to come out and camp. A very remote spot, but you can already see that there's big rock formations. It kind of feels like Joshua tree, actually a more wooded Joshua tree. And the sun is about to come down, but I have a feeling we have a couple of good vantage points from here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna take the drone up or not cause I don't wanna get it shot down. So probably not, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you'll have to take our word for it. This is camp for the night. And uh, why don't we just for the camera, uh, give a quick apology to my mom. <laughs> Listen, her name's Stacy. Stacy, Brandon's mom. I just want to say sorry. I I got him into this adventure. He's doing a great job filming. Um, Stacy, listen, your son is safe. He's in good hands. Not necessarily my hands, but Tadeo. Tadeo. Yes. Stacy, my, my hands look my my, my hands look good hands. He's got great hands. Tadeo, we're in. Good hands. Brandon's safe in my hands, and I'm safe in Tadeo's hands. And Tadeo is safe in Vale's hand. Vale's hand, yeah, Vale's hand. And Vale is safe in his wife's hands. Yeah, and, and the lady looks, looks like a good and, lady. And she looks like a good lady. And she brought two knives, one for asada, one for protection. Oh We're good. God. You weren't kidding, yeah, travel deeper. You think I live this life? Should have known what I got myself into. <laughs> when I started working for you, freaking day one, already in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Do you vouch? Can you tell the people that he really lives this life? This guy travels deeper. He travels deeper than anyone I've ever seen in my whole entire <laughs> life. And I got myself into the mix really deep into Mexico, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, we'll see how the night goes. No, fortunately, this is beautiful. Look at the sunset. It was just funny how I was worried about mountain lions at first. And then I saw a guy with an AK-47 and you know, so now there's like mountain lions and you know. So now do you feel safer? Cause the mountain lions won't come with guys with AK-47s, you know? I don't feel safer. <laughs> 
Stacy, he's fine. I promise you, he's fine. The setup. Step one. Primer paso. Light the fire. Picante time. Uh, we cut uh, in half an onion. Uh -huh. Cows, usually in Mexico, the grill uh, it's clean, but it can be a little bit more clean if we rub an uh, onion. It's like a tradition. Tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and we got some seasoning, little seasoning rub. The nopales are getting, are getting cooked. Uh -huh. uh, also, we get uh, the ribs and the arrachera. Ooh. Ya está listo. Ya está listo. Enseñarme. Vale. Te enseño. Sí. Ahorita mira. I like it, quesadilla con carne asada. Pico de gallo. Lara, Lara, Chile. Look. Mm. <laughs> 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 All right, time to prepare my quesadilla. <laughs> so you take another another tortilla to be the. <sighs> Woo! That was hot. Let's see if you can see this. Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna take a small piece of Nepal. Can I rip that off? Yeah. Get the Nepal going in there. Then I got my steak right there. And then we come down here, yeah. get the meat. We'll get a little pico de gallo, a little of that, and then the pico. Quesadilla, pico party. Picate. Are you ready? Give it a try. Oh yeah, good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Good people, good music. This is the life. We're enjoying. That was always good when you have friends around. Oh my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna call it here. The fire's going, beautiful night. Stars, a full moon, and the boys. We're gonna play some music, hang out by the fire. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. It, it helps a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notifications bell. Grab a six pack of Tecate, and stay tuned for next week's episode from Mexicali. And if you haven't seen the first few episodes from this series, go check them out now. That's it. keys you'll never sleep safely again in your home after seeing that <laughs> that's the thing says the, the window was locked and the door was locked and it took them two seconds <laughs> the mexican wait <laughs> if anyone watching this video has ever been to bonanza i will personally send you ten dollars send me a dm and a picture and a picture for proof it's okay, the first thing Vale told me was, don't worry, I'm not gonna kidnap you. <laughs> I barely speak any Spanish, and all I heard was, oh yeah, I've seen like the biggest mountain lions right over there, where your campsite is actually. No problem. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Here it comes. Gracias. Okay. Hard, hard shell, yeah. soft inside. Like me. Yeah, like, yeah. You can see that tough guy? No, he's a golden heart. I, they call me Tuetano in high school. Ah, yeah. You, 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 I am drinking a Tecate, the Dianas is in the fountain, uh, the Dianas is in the mural, the Dianas is in the inside of the bar, the Tecate Brewery is the in the Dianas is right here. The Dianas is right here in the, in the here heart. Here and here. Uh, yeah, and a little bit in the nipple too. But I mean, uh, it's, just, it's just camping with friends. Just along the Mexican border, maybe some... If the guards come, we can give a little bit of Tecate for them. We have Tecate yeah, if the guards come. If you want a real pleasure, put the mask down just a little bit, keep your mouth covered, but let your nose free and go like this. <sighs> that is heaven. <laughs>